Hi there, I'm David Bloom, and I'm here live in Nashville. And behind me are a hundred people who are learning how to make alcohol and take back our energy system from the oil companies. To find out where our next events are to bring us to your town, join our mailing list. Don't burn dinosaurs! Alcohol! America's favorite fuel! Yeah! <laughs> Talk about ethanol production and the possibilities with that and I was just blown away by the information because like a lot of Americans you know I hear a lot of uh, let's say a myth, myths being generated about uh, ethanol production not being uh, practical and, and not being ethical and all these various things that we hear. As a result of this help clean up our little waste treatment plant as a result of the of using the cattails so many things I'm really excited about the potential of this. So what we want to do is work with nature and not against nature. Alcohol fuel has been the silent victim of a political war that has gone on in this country ever since the inception of the country. Uh, fuel alcohol makes perfect sense. Uh, permaculture is perfect sense. There's the, the nitrogen um, pattern for farming all across the United States, and it all comes out here into the dead zone in the Mississippi. So we know that this area is at least 8,000 square miles. Kelp actually grows 18 inches a day. So once a week, you cut off 10 feet of it, and it keeps growing. It's way perennial, OK? You know, we grow it on nets like this. When you do that, you could easily replace all of this energy just on the dead zone and a little bit off of our primary toxic waste generator, meaning our politicians, OK? All of that would replace all the coal, all the nuclear, and all the fuel that we use in the United States with alcohol. But it gets better than that. There's 495 dead zones. This was only 8,000 square miles. The Black Sea is completely a dead zone, and it's 175,000 square miles. So the big solution for energy is don't use any land at all. Basically, we could, just by taking a couple of these techniques, fuel the entire planet effectively, cheaply, with nothing but edible and good byproducts coming out of it. I, I, I don't care what walk of life, whether you're right wing, left wing, uh, we're all American, and, and, and Dave can bridge those gaps of, of, by just giving, good, giving out good information. I came to the workshop to meet other people that want to do what I want to do. And just listening to David, his, his, his knowledge, he's a walking encyclopedia. He's a permaculturalist, so everything he thinks about is within the whole system design of permaculture, and, and it's just his knowledge is immense. And uh, I, I'm here to testify this workshop is amazing, David is amazing, and the information is uh, something that needs to be gotten out to the public. Um, and that's why it's so important that more people uh, participate in learning this, because it's, it is really is a grassroots movement. We're up against powerful forces here, and so people just need to access this information and know how we can empower ourselves to make a better future. Maybe I've got grandkids and, and everything. They've got to grow up. They've got to have things to do. They've got to be able to have energy. And I really feel that there is uh, an alcohol revolution in the air. I am so excited about all that is possible with David's ideas. Okay, I'm Albert Dunn with BetterFoodBetterLiving.com here in Nashville. And we were fortunate enough to be able to put on the uh, David Bloom workshop here in town and here behind me is about a hundred particip participants that uh, came this weekend and if you'd like to learn more about how you could potentially put on a, a workshop in your area give us a call contact us uh, through our website or you can call us at 615-884-4545 uh, be glad to talk to you <laughs>